All right, so hopefully everyone's going to be here paying attention. So let's see if we're ready. So, class. Yes. Are you ready? Is your earbud away? Almost? Working on it. Okay, I know everyone, including Leo, is ready to go because no one has the earbuds in during my lesson because everyone's going to be paying attention. Almost like, you know, as if your grade depends on paying attention. So, let's go through here. Page 43, we're continuing on yesterday's notes. So, we're starting over here on example two from yesterday's notes. And it says, find the surface area of the prism. So now, on our example one, I showed you how to do it using a net by showing and displaying every single one of the sides and then adding it all up. So we have another formula to actually make this work. So the surface area is two times area of the base. Now my base, in this case, I will red this one, is going to be here. So my measurement, so I got to put some measurements in here. So that means that this is going to be this number right here. What is this side going to be here? Six. Six. Very good. And this side right here is? Six. There you go. So in my formula, it says two times the area of the base. So two times uh, six times six. What is six times six? 30, 36. Very good. Plus, the perimeter of the base. Now, what does the word perimeter mean? Just the edges, right? Just the edges. How far along the edges? Just the edges. So this is 6 here. This is 6 here. What's this going this way? 6. six and over here is? 6. So it's going to be 6, 6, 6, and 6. So. To find the perimeter, I add those together. So 6 plus 6 is 12, plus 6 is 18, plus 6 is? Not 21. 24, there we go, it's 24. So that's the perimeter of the base, which is 24. Wow. 24. Times the height. What is the height of this shape? Eight. Eight. All right, so let's plug it in, do a little bit of math. So I'm going to bring up my numworks here. Mm -hmm. All right, so let's take a look. Here's my numworks. It was 2 times 36 plus 24, right? That one, 24 times what? Uh, eight. Eight. So, looks just like this, right? Yeah. Okay, hit okay. What? 264. So, is this a little bit easier than having to do the net? Yeah. The net gives you many more things, but just to find my surface area, this is an easier formula. So what was it? 200, 200 what? 264. 264. What are my units? Um, meters. meters, because there's M's right here, right? And it's going to be meters what? Uh, square. square. Meters square, because we're looking for the area. And area is always square. Just... Is that a whole lot easier there? Yeah. Okay, good. So I want you people right now, instead of doing the nets, I want you to do this. Okay? You're going to do this one. But now, first thing you have to do is identify which one of the base is. So I will help you by identifying the base by writing it. So my base is going to be here. This base is down here. And this base is right here. 
So I want you to try this out using that same formula. Go. Big Mac, I know your earbud's not in your head right now, right? Because you wouldn't do something like that, would you? No, you're not that guy. Okay, so make sure these stay away and then you are trying to do this, right? Big Mac, watch your phone out there again. Triangle is going to have a slightly different formula. You just did 
7 times 24. But it's not a triangle, it's one half base times height. Oh. Okay. All right, so I'm going to start plugging in some numbers here. So now for this one, it's going to be 2 times the area of my base is going to be a 2 times 9, which is 18. Uh, right there, right? The, the base is a 2 here, right? And 9 going this way. So we get 18 plus the perimeter of the base, which is 2, 2, that's 4, 9, and 9. All that together should give me 22. So it's 22 times the height, which is 5. Leo, I know that's not an earbud in right now, right? You wouldn't do something like that. All right, anyone got the number for me? 146, 146, Leo, is that what you got? Yeah, okay, good. Now for this next one right here, four. The triangle is the base, and if you remember from yesterday's lesson, the triangle, the area for a triangle, one half base times height. So it's one half base times height. What? Uh, uh, it's up on the board. So it's right there. So it's pass.securely.com. Log in. So if you need help with that here in a moment, okay? Let me finish what I'm doing. All right. So now, one half base times height. So my base is going to be 24, and the height of this triangle is 7. So I'm going to do 2 times, so that's going to be 1 half, my base is 24, times my height of 7, so that is going to be 84, I think so, 84. Anyone actually plug that one in, or no? 168. Huh? 168. 168? Did you do times the one half? No. 84. 84? Okay. Because it is a triangle, it has a slightly different formula. It's not just base times height. It's one half base times height. Plus. Now, the perimeter. This one is tricky here because they gave you this over here. So this one, so we got going this way. Let me erase so you guys can actually see which ones we're talking about. I have the perimeter, so it's seven going this way. Seven going this way. 24 going this way. And my back is 25. So we could actually add those together, which we got how much? 56. 56? Okay, so he says it's 56 times the height. What is the height of the whole thing? Two. Two. There we go. So two times this is, is uh, 168 plus 112. That is two, 280? I don't know. Yeah, 280. 280? Okay. I'm not very good at math, so I gotta try and do my best here. So CM squared, just like this one was supposed to be feet squared. All right, and number five. Number five is going to be two times the area of the base, which is going to be 
we have 15 going this way and 8 going this way. So 15 times 8 is going to be, what's it, 120? Plus the perimeter of the bottom, 15, 15, that's 30, 38, and then 46. So it's 46 times 5. What do we get? 170. 170? 470. 470. What are my units? Yard squared. Very good. Good job. All right. Questions, concerns, complaints, conspiracy theories? Yes, go ahead. Actually, we all know that already. Oh, really? Yeah. Everyone already knows. Did you just learn that one? Yeah, it was man made. Yeah, no one cares no more, right? Yeah. It's not a thing. It was all man made. It's to control your mind. All right, example three. Find the surface area of a cylinder. So we have a formula. Surface area S is equal to 2 pi r squared plus 2 pi r h. If you guys could read that. I think you should, is it easier to read on your paper? Yeah. Okay, good. All right, so now let's see. What is my r value? R value is 5. 5. R is the radius of the circle. And the radius starts at the center. Go to the edge. So my r is 5. And my height, h is 2. All right. I only have two different variables here, so let's go ahead and plug this in. S equals 2 pi. My R value is 5 squared plus 2 pi 5 times 2. So plug those in your calculator for me, please. I agree with him. Because you don't know? All right, let's see what my calculadora says. So it is 2 pi, my r value is 5, close squared, plus 2 pi, 5, times 2. Did I write it down correctly? Yeah. There we go. So, now, I love this calculator for this reason. When you take the ACT, SAT, or some of these standardized tests, it's going to say, leave your answer in terms of pi. That's what that means in terms of pi. That means you don't have to multiply the pi into there. Pi is an irrational number of 3.14 blah, 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 and it goes on forever. So it is irrational. It's never going to end and it doesn't have a pattern to it. So your answer in terms of pi would be 70 pi. Your approximate answer is going to be 219.9, okay? So 70 pi is approximately 219.9. And what are my units on this one? It's a yard. yards square. You gotta use the e-pass. Okay. Huh? Oh, okay, so it was, 
Okay. He's already going? Okay. All right. No, you just take your phone. All right. Here's for you two right now. You guys are doing both of these. Just like this. So start with two, pi, then r squared. So write it out. So you put in the calculator. What? Is that right? Let's see. Two, pi. No, no, that's not right. No, no. Wrong! What's the radius? So let's go through and look what we have. So I'm going to help you guys set it up. So 2 pi r is going to be 11 squared plus 2 pi 11 times 18. And for all those people that plugged in the calculator, now this also says round to the nearest whole number. Two pi eleven squared plus 
2 pi 11 times, what was it, 18? What was the height? 18. Yeah, 18. And it says round to the whole number. So the whole number is going to be 2004, but that point 0.3, does point 0.3 round up? It just drops off, right? So point 0.3 is not enough to round it up, so it's just 2004. So it's approximately, and my meters squared. And my last one here. So Kakarot was trying to do this one right here, but now my radius, what's the radius of this one? 15. 15, because the radius starts here and only goes to the edge. That's why up here I pointed out my radius starts at the center and goes to the edge. This is given my diameter. Diameter is the distance all the way across. The radius is half the distance. So I'm going to plug in my formula. So that's going to be 2 pi 15 squared plus 2 pi 15 times 15. All right, we're rounding to the hole here. Rounding to the hole, let's look. That's 2,827.4. Is the point four going to round up or drop off? It's just going to drop off because the four is not enough to actually go up. So 2,827. And my units on this one is going to be feet. Feet squared. All right, hopefully you guys find this pretty easy, okay, especially not having to do a net for the cylinders because those are a pain. But other than that, we're going to use the rest of the time. Try to work on your homework, get your stuff done. Make sure you like, share, and subscribe. Hit that notification button support my channel. Buy stuff for the merch store.